get into it. <laughs> I got a camera, finally. Woo! So let me know in the comments if this looks any better or worse, as I've been using the GoPro for the last almost year and a half. So I'm pretty excited over this camera, so hopefully it looks good and sounds good. This bike here has been in the works for, oh geez. 21 years. 21 years. <laughs> for a couple months. And uh, the story behind this bike is it's, it's pretty much a congratulations bike from my wife for getting my firefighter position at my new job. So you can't see it right now, but there's some special parts that are going to be going on this bike. But I want to talk about this bike stock. Uh, if you haven't seen my unboxing video, I made just kind of a little like two and a half minute video of actually unboxing this. I'll put a link to it in the video. But for the price of this bike, this is absolutely a stellar deal. This is, in my opinion, one of the best bang for buck bikes that you can buy for under $2,000. Uh, there are specific reasons why I say that. And we'll go over the parts here in just a minute. But Noah, what do you think about my new bike? Lovely. I love the purple pedals. Oh, and of course, yeah, there's yes. of course there's purple pedals on it. <laughs> but <laughs> I uh what do you think about the gray? I actually really like the gray along with the um basically everything. <laughs> I believe it's like Nardo, Naruto gray. <laughs> But it's a very nice matte gray finish, and I don't know if the camera will actually pick it up very well, but it looks really, really good. It does. The components on this bike are really what set it ahead, in my opinion. So let's get into some of the components. You have a 10-speed cassette here, and this 10-speed cassette is a wide-range cassette. So even with a really nice Eagle cassette, you get 50 or 52 teeth, so it's really not that far off from that. Uh, the black cog set looks really, really good. I'm pretty sure it's a Sunrace cog. If I'm wrong, I'll put a little note in the bottom. It comes with Shimano Deor drivetrain, so it's got a Deor derailleur, it's got a Deor crank set, one by, got a Deor bottom bracket, and it's got a Deor shifter. I will say the shifter is all plastic. Um, this is gonna sound crazy to say, but I think the Advent X micro shift shifter does feel better than this Deor shifter. But saying that, it shifts perfect. It shifts very, very good. Uh, I had a terrific unboxing experience. There were no marks, no scuffs. It was shifting perfect out of the box. I mean, I was very impressed with it. Uh, the dropper was exactly the way it needed to be. It was working absolutely fine. So that was really, really awesome. I was very glad over that experience. This is the 29er model. We got some Schwalbies, Schwalbel. Wobble. Schwabble wobbles Schwabble on the front and back. <laughs> and this is a Hans Dumpf, and this is a Magic Mary on front. This is probably going to surprise many of you, but I think I'm going to keep them. I may or may not already have tan walls for this bike, but I'm going to keep them black. A lot of people give me grief for using tan walls all the time, <laughs> so we're going to keep them black. And I want to try these because I've actually never rode Schwalbe. So I'm really excited to try these tires out. Uh, the rim set look very nice. It sounds really good. So I had someone asking me over that, but the engagement sounds pretty good. It's of course disc brake front and back. It is Shimano disc brake. The rotors I believe are 160 front and back. Very nice dropper. It works as it should. You push the button, it goes up. You push the button, put it back down. down. So, it does have X-Fusion suspension front and back. Now, this is 100% my personal opinion over X-Fusion suspension, but I think X-Fusion suspension is absolutely terrific. I think X-Fusion is very, very underrated. I think for when it comes to bang for buck suspension, I really think X-Fusion does an awesome, awesome job with what they have. This is a 32 millimeter stanchion, so 32 millimeters. It's an RC32 29er. 
And this is the X, what is it, the O2 Pro in the rear. And reviews on it are pretty good. I was reading about it, I mean, it just sounds like it's a decent rear suspension and a decent front fork. So, everything on this bike is just good. Nothing is necessarily amazing over the top, but if you're looking for a sub 2000 full suspension bike, if this is in stock, I highly recommend grabbing it. Noah? Yes? Anything you'd like to say about the Vitus Mythique? I would say yes, it does look very awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the first time I saw this bike, I didn't even realize this was even a thing. He was really confused over the rear shock because yes. no, I only have hardtails. I've not had a full suspension for over a year, I think. So he was really confused over that. <laughs> so wait, did you did you break your bike in half and then just like <laughs> rewold it together? <laughs> Oh goodness. The story behind it, he broke his uh, but, bike in half. Yeah, I know, right? So for me, the unboxing was terrific. I think it's a great looking bike. I cannot wait to get it out on the trails. I'm not sure where I'm going to take it. It sounds like I might be going to Brown County this Friday. So I might just go ahead and take this bad boy to Brown County stock and have a good time with it. So I'm super stoked over this bike. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to the things I'm going to be doing to this bike. But if you have any questions over the Vitus Mythique, please put them in the comments. And as usual, Thank you so, so very much for tuning in. Awkward silence. Until next time, take care, everybody. <laughs>